What's going on guys? It's Michael here from GBU. We are back again with a brand new blaster to review. This time around we have the HL Honey Badger. Now this thing is a full nylon construction. It consists of a nylon gearbox, nylon gears, all of the externals as well are nylon. But that's not going to stop you from upgrading this thing later on down the track if you choose to, which you can change the hand guards, the barrels, absolutely everything on this blaster you can change. Now this particular gel blaster is a great starting platform. So if you are just looking to get your first gel blaster or even if you're an experienced gel baller this thing will cater to every single one of your needs whether you want to do a meal sim event with the tan tied up to you or if you are looking to do the cqb route then it is again going to be perfect for you considering the size and the compactness of it now this particular gel blaster does shoot around 260 feet per second out of the box which is absolutely crazy for the size of it and now it does have a fire rate of around 15 gels per second which again is absolutely insane considering some customs are doing around 28 which isn't essentially that much more so the fact that it's doing 15 is is amazing as well so the overall construction of the honey badger is actually quite solid it has a decent weight of around two kilos guys so again it's not too light it doesn't feel cheap it actually feels really really nice again for a cheaper blaster that is nylon upgradable you can't go wrong and you cannot bypass this thing but nonetheless guys let's head to the firing range we'll give this thing a couple of shots and we'll see how it performs and we'll be back so here we have it guys we've got our honey badger we'll do some semi now we'll do some full auto As you've just seen, the Honey Badger was smashing the back wall, has a very decent grouping for what it is without a hop up as well. The alloy in a barrel helps this so much compared to say your plastic ones, where the plastic ones just has too much room for the gel to float around inside the barrel, where the alloy one keeps it tighter, keeps it grouping smaller. Go, as I said before, go and put a hop up on this thing and it's going to be absolutely dead on. Now, if this is something that you'd like, come on down and see us at 7 slash 18 Bailey Crescent in Southport on the Gold Coast or they are online right now as I speak. Peace out. Hey.